what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm wall 25 and today i got a brand new action figure review for you guys on the hasbro's marvel legend uh this is the infinity ultron build a figure wave uh mr knight and when i say brand new action figure review i actually mean it this time this is a brand new action figure review at least for me um this was supposed to come out i believe in march 2023 uh and i received it probably a couple days ago by the time i'm recording this video it's december 6th by the time this video comes out i don't know could be sometime this week could be next week could be even the following week but this is i thought was supposed to be a 2023 release but the figure does come in the windowed packaging which is very surprising uh for characters in the wave you do get right here you get moon knight mr knight which i have both of those and moon knight i'll be reviewing separately after this you get kamala khan ms marvel you get she hulk Kate Bishop Hawkeye, Clint Barton Hawkeye, and then you do get Sharon Carter from the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This is basically an entire Disney Plus wave of figures, and uh, pretty cool. I'm actually, you know, happy to get a lot of those figures because I am an MCU collector as well, it's a comic collector. Um, a little bit shy on both these days because the price hikes and everything like that. But Moon Knight, pretty cool. I do really like this figure. I think. There are some gripes I have with it personally, um, with mine at least. Uh, I think it could have come with an unmasked head sculpt. I don't know if this is... Okay, that's not permanent on mine. But accessories really quick. What you do get, uh, you get the right arm of Infinity Ultra. And usually I don't include the Build-A-Figure piece, but you get that. Um, you do get a set of fist hands, just little white hands here. Uh... There you go. Kind of can see it. It's not really focusing too much on the gloves. Um, uh, yeah, but they're just a little bit of a little bit of a like ripple pattern on the back for the gloves. Um, and then you do get two of these really cool. Um, I cannot get these to focus. It is not focusing. I do apologize, but it does not want to focus on this thing. All right, there we go. There we go. But it's got some really cool, like, gravings and probably, like, Egyptian etchings in the things or whatever, which is really nice looking. You get a little nice gold cap on the bottom and the top. Uh, they don't plug into each other or anything like that, but they're pretty sick, and I do really like those. Um, for Mr. Knight himself, you do get a very cool new sculpt, I believe, for most of it. You definitely get new shoes, new head. Um, the hands might be reused, they might be new. And the underbody of the suit might be new, might be reused. I'm not sure if anyone else has used this style of, like, I'm sure the legs have been used before somewhere. But I don't know about, like, the, what's under the torso. This is definitely a new piece here as well. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely new. A new tie, too, I believe, because it's got, like, a different style of marking on there like texturing so there's a lot of nice little texturing throughout like the shirt and the vest and everything like that and the head for sure has some cool little marks in there because it's got like the scar going down the mask and everything like that uh which is really nice um i really like the sculpt work of him now one gripe i have is the shoulder for example it like has a really hard click here um so it's very like you could feel each and every click when I do this. Like, you might even be able to see it in the video of it. Like, how it's so, like, the clicking of it. But it's it's very stuck in certain poses. And this arm seems like it's almost popped out a little bit more. So, this arm seems like it's set in a little bit better. Whereas it's very nice, easy movement over here. But I feel each and every click on this one. Like, I feel the shaking throughout my hand holding it and the figure where it's the hard click. So I feel like this shoulder is supposed to be set in more, and it's not. But arms do go up and out this much. Um, definitely seems like this doesn't get up as high as this one over here just by, like, a little extra of a click because it's not in all the way. Um, you get the upper bicep cut there as well no butterflies i think moon knight and mr knight could have both gotten some butterflies but i don't think either of them have it arms close up that much on the elbow um and then all the wrist the wrist on both do swivel and hinge now these are both horror or vertical hinges here 
on the open hands, the closed hands are actually a horizontal hinge. So very interesting that you get both different style of hinges there. Um, there is an ab crunch under the jacket, but he, because of the jacket vest thing, he can't really take advantage of it. He can only go down that much, and he could go back that much, but it's kind of hard. The jacket hinders it, um, and then you kind of pop the tie out there. Head could look down that much, head could look up that much, and then he does get a little bit of tilting expression in there, which is very nice. Uh, it is on a ball, a, hin a diskin um, ball. And then the waist does have a swivel as well there, waist cut. Uh, legs come up that much, go back that much, not really much at all. Mr. Knight on the splits gets that much. Upper thigh cut, very stiff, do want to put that out there. Um, double jointed knees, also very stiff. Not kicking his own butt today, gets you that far. Ankles don't really go back at all. They go forward just a bit, and they does have the wonderful ankle pivot as well. Now, one thing I do also want to say about the legs on my Mr. Knight is it seems like one of them is like definitely higher than the other because I think I think the uh, the left leg here is lower than the other one. I think they're higher because he doesn't stand properly. It's like the one leg just can't go back far enough or something like that, or just can't, they can't meet on the same plane. So. There's always like a little bit of a discrepancy in how he's standing. He doesn't like, like he can't properly stand with both feet flat without making one leg do some sort of like a weird plant or pose or something like that. And the ankles don't have a proper like uh, hinging spot for him to actually stand up well enough. Um, but other than that, the figure is pretty great, and I really like it. Figure does stand just above six and a quarter inches tall, between six and a quarter and six and a half inches tall. Size comparisons to some other lines and some other Hasbro stuff. This is the Jazzware Fortnite figure here, the Visitor, and the Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale figure. I believe Mr. Knight and Moon Knight are both in Fortnite, so both of these two actually fit with this review quite well there. Um... You have G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, which is also <laughs> in Fortnite. We're bringing up the Fortnite stuff again. Um, but yeah, everything's in there anymore. Uh, you have the Mezco Stealth Iron Man. The 1000 Toys Master Chief. Um, another one. Oh my god, I'm just knocking over everything all over the place. Uh, another one I do have here is the Figma Samus. Um, Mofex has also been retired basically from doing any size comparisons as for right now just because the two mofex figures i was doing size comparisons with are both batman and superman well not superman i never did him but uh they're they've been basically retired because caped figures to keep bringing them in for me for size comparisons is just such a nightmare they take up so much space on the desk um there's the jazzware halo master chief by the way and the uh star wars black series captain rex there's both those but yeah Moffix is basically going to be retired from doing um, any sort of size comparisons, probably until I get the Moffix Nightwing. I will review him, Batman will come out for that, then you'll see the size on Nightwing, and after you see the size, then Nightwing will probably take over as the new Moffix rep for size comparisons. So until then, no Moffex and size comparisons. But there was SH Figure Arts Goku and the uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red. Here is Mythic Legion Black Knight. Um, he keeps falling over on me, man. Like, he doesn't... He does not stand very well for me. Uh, and then we have the McFarlane Space Marine as our last big boy here. Um... Another little size comparison I do want to do is just because he's on the desk for another Marvel Legend. Here's the Renew Your Vows Spidey and the uh, 20th Anniversary Captain America. They're both relatively taller than him, so clearly this MCU one's shorter, or um, maybe Moon Knight's just not very tall of a dude. Uh, and then last little size comparison I have is the other character from the Swave is Moon Knight. So we have Mr. Knight and Moon Knight. Uh, both Mark, Sec Marth Mark Spector and Stephen Grant, I believe they both were in the show. Uh, so there you go, Mark and Stephen. 
Um, I wish we had two Oscar Isaac head sculpts here. One more maybe like with more of aggressive tone or serious nature for Mark. And then for Steven, he could have had more of a goofy or happy-go-lucky face, something like that. I don't know. Um, but I wish we could have gotten that there. But together, they both look pretty cool. Like, you see the really, like, almost dirty, grayish tone here for Moon Knight. And then for Mr. Knight, he's, like, in a clean white suit, everything like that, which is really nice. Um, but I really like this figure for the price point of... I want to say $24.99 is the current price. I did get mine from Amazon, so he shipped early, came early, everything like that. Wasn't expecting him this early, unfortunately. Uh, fortunately for the review, unfortunately for whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, I seen, I did see him in Target, so he is popping up in Targets as well. So I guess these are 2022 release and not 2023. So, with that being said, I think I am going to greatly enjoy this wave. I do plan on getting the rest of it, and I plan on getting Kanshu in his Build-A-Figure at some point as well. Um, so I'm excited for all that. I really like the Moon Knight show, and this figure is pretty cool to have. So, I do like them. I have my little QC gripes with them that I kind of always have with most Marvel Legends. It always seems like one leg is longer than the other. Um, it's just positioned differently on him, and I have that problem with like all of them, so can't really dock them too much for that um but yeah that's gonna do it for me today though if you did find this video helpful i uh, would always appreciate a like and a subscribe does help me out a lot do greatly appreciate it this will probably be one of the last few marvel legends reviewed on the channel before uh, i do my top 10 figures of this year and then i might go back and hit some old missed ones like maybe i'll do some of the 20th anniversary ones or something like that later um next year or something like that but hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you found the video helpful uh if you haven't done so already would appreciate a subscribe to the channel and uh, i think i already said that but if i didn't would always appreciate it. do greatly um appreciate that and everything like that and uh, i will catch you guys all in the next video bye guys